Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I'm running um, through some videos here for the last of my Christmas tutorials. I'm making this fun little gift card box um, for some of my son's teachers. I've got these little clear gift card boxes. Uh, a couple of lucky winners will get some of these gift card boxes. I have a few extras after I made some for the teachers. So pop over to KitchenTableStamper.com and um, leave a comment under this video and I just might send you a little three pack of these um, gift boxes for your crafting enjoyment. Okay, so I have the box and I filled it with three little Andy's Peppermint Crunch candies. Um, I did a birthday one with some Starburst, you'll see that too. So lots of different candies will fit in here. Put the candies, then the gift card. And as you can see, the belly band just slides right back on and your gift card is ready for a pre presentation. Okay, so let's get started here. Let me run you through the supplies. Um, to make this, you'll need the Cookie Cutter Christmas and the Cookie Builder Punch from Stampin' Up. You'll also need some Real Red cardstock, uh, about mm, uh, one and a half inches by two and a half inches. Uh, for the oval, you'll need about one and a half inches by two and a half inches. This is cut with a tag element from the baker's box. This is cut with the stitched shape framelits. Those will be back in stock um, sometime in January. Uh, this is the gift card box and you'll need one of those. You also need a piece of designer series paper. Got some candy cane lane here. It's 12 inches by one and a half. And first we're gonna score this for the belly band. So I've got my Simply Score tool. Yeah. We're gonna score this at three and a half, at four and an eighth, at eight inches, and at eight and five eighths. Okay, once we're done scoring, then I like to add a little bit of fast fuse on the front side of one of the tabs and on the back side of the other when I'm making a belly band. Then work those little score lines and put your treats in your box if you like at this point. Just love those, aren't they pretty? Okay. Close up. And then, okay, we're gonna wrap around the box to the front. We've gotta find our adhesive here. The fast fuse is on the bottom of this one and the top of this one. So the one with the adhesive on the top, you fold down. The one with the adhesive on the bottom, you fold over and then attach. And there's our belly band. Okay. I'm going to ink up my sentiment and stamp that on my little oval here. And then my reindeer. First, I'm going to ink up just his nose in real red. Stamp that on a scrap. Oh, by the way, this piece of crumb cake is two by three and a half. Here's a little scrap that's about an inch by two inches. I have cleaned my stamp and I'm going to ink up an early espresso with the antlers down and toward the bottom of the paper. We've talked about a couple of times, if you stamp in the right position, it makes punching much easier. So legs down or antlers down with this punch and then it makes positioning much easier. Punch him out. Bring in the big shot. Put down the platform. My embossing folder. I'm going to put my little tag in there. Close that up. Crank it through. And there it is. Can you see that beautiful deep impression? All right, trim out the reindeer's nose. Half 
half a dimensional. Ah, what a cutie. Okay. Put a dimensional here in the center of the tag. Add the sentiment. And then I have a little brown button threaded with some linen thread. Add that on the tag. Now here we have to be very careful. We don't want to glue our belly band to the box. So we're going to add our dimensionals to the box, or to the band, and not to the tag. Because now we know that we didn't inadvertently get any adhesive there and stick the belly band to the box. All right, our little reindeer, he needs a dimensional or two. We want to be very careful about the placement of that so we don't glue everything together. Okay, and lastly, I have a mini jingle bell tied with some red ribbon. It's on a glue dot. We're going to adhere that, making sure that it's stuck to the belly band and not to the box. There we go. Wishing you a season as sweet and joyful as the friendship we share. Isn't that fun? All right, if you've got any questions about this project, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And if you'd like to be considered for the boxes that I'm giving away, buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.